Hey guys, I'm Dion from Dion Video Productions, and today we're going to be looking at six must-know keyboard shortcuts for Final Cut Pro 10. When I do client work, especially during the post-production stage, efficiency and fast turnaround is key. Using keyboard shortcuts contributes to a more efficient workflow, allowing you to get more done in less time. Now with that in mind, I'm going to be showing you six shortcuts that I use most frequently when editing. Let's get started. First, we have Shift Z. Now, when you're zoomed in close to your timeline, making frame by frame adjustments and are ready to move on to the next clip, simply press Shift Z to bring your entire timeline back into view. Next, Command Shift V allows you to take any attributes like crops, effects, and grades and apply them directly to another clip. To do this, first find the clip from which you want to copy an attribute then press Command C for copy, then find the clip to which you want to apply the attribute by pressing Command Shift V. From here, you can select exactly which attributes you want to carry over. In my case, a color grade. Here we have a useful way to quickly select the exact parts of a clip in your event library to move to the timeline. Press I to mark the start of the selection and O to mark the close. From here, your clip can be dragged directly to the timeline. To bring up the inspector window more quickly, press command 4. The same shortcut can be used to close the window. V, the shortest command on the list, is a simple way to show or hide any element in the project. This includes clips, text, transitions, and serves as an effective way to get a before and after look of a given attribute. Finally, once you've completed a rough edit of your video, press command shift F to preview in full screen. Alright, so hopefully these frequently used shortcuts can come of use to you. If so, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. Also consider checking out some more of my Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. Thank you for watching.